I recently discovered a mod pack that enables a ton of custom liquids that can be placed on the map. But I'm talking about ones like diamond water, upside down liquids, just a ton of different stuff. And it got me thinking, what type of experiments could we do with this? Like what happens if four of these liquids interact with each other at the same time? We're going to be figuring that out and more in today's video. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Leave a like on the video if you're hoping for like no school next week. And also make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you never miss an upload. All right, so just hopping on into it here, before we get into this whole section where we're going to test out these different liquids, like we've got water right here, lava over here. I don't know why it's so glitchy. How did this block even break? Okay, we'll fix that before we get into the rest. Oh, now it's on fire. Yeah, this is not going according to plan, but we've even got like potato water right here and this uh, almost obsidian, not obsidian, teleport water, something like that. Yeah, let's first just take a look at some of these modded liquids because there are so many. I mean, take a look at all of these. I don't even want to begin to count all of them. There are so many to go through and see how they interact with each other. Like, let's just take a look at some of these interesting ones. Like, let's just grab some random ones here. We've got a gold bucket. What is that going nice. to be? There's this one that's like upside down. We're definitely going to pick that up. Upside down water, water bucket. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely grabbing that one. I like this lime green one experience bucket. That sounds intriguing. Christmas in a bucket. Okay. Yeah. These all sound intriguing. We got to try a bunch of these. There's even a diamond bucket. Like guys, what does all of this even mean? And like, how does it interact with NPC animals around the map? All right. So we got the gold bucket right here and it's going to go right on top of the chicken. Oh no, the chicken. It got, it got fried. So it's like the gold, it acts like lava almost. And even when I'm in it, I like start on fire. But if I go inside of it too much, my screen just goes completely bright. But I don't necessarily see why it has to do with gold. And don't you dare, chicken. Don't go into the lava. Or sorry, gold. Yeah, I can't get any gold blocks from it or anything. Okay, what about the Christmas in a bucket? It just, it's still winter, but the holidays just passed. Either way, I gotta see what exactly this is. Are you guys ready? There we go. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's literally like just tree texture with some lights on it. Does it have any special effect? Like, are we getting anything on our character? It doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that is uh that's a bit of a weird one how about some of the upside down ones like the upside down water i also want to bring some of these over to this section where we can see what happens when some of them actually combine but before we do that let's try out this upside down water bucket there it goes oh my gosh it is going right up into the sky bro what what happens if we try to swim in it that's so weird though it's just going to continue upwards no matter what all right i'm gonna jump in it and see if it actually raises me up surprisingly no you you still fall downwards. So that's a little disappointing. Either way though, that looks crazy. What happens if we put it like under a tree here? Like there's a bunch right in this area. So I'll place it right there. Oh my gosh. It actually follows the same like flow mechanics as a normal bucket of water, but upside down. That's so funny. So it literally flows around and just goes right up into the sky. Bro, what is happening? And then we got this like end theorem. I don't even know what that is. Oh my God. That too is just going to go right up into the sky. Anything happen if we jump into it? Okay. It's just like the similar thing. It lights us on fire. Interesting. How about this one right here? Experience in a bucket. I would assume this one maybe gives you experience levels, but since we're not in creative, is it actually going to do anything? Let's see. I switched over to survival mode and I'm stepping inside of it. It lit us on fire. Bro, that is not experience liquid. <laughs> it's literally trying to eliminate me. Oh no. Quick before we get eliminated. There we go. Creative mode. Oh my gosh. That was way too close. Am I like using this wrong? I mean, it looks super cool, but it's not giving me experience. And like, what about the diamond bucket? This just looks like normal water. What does it have to do with? And it's going to light me on fire as well. Okay. That is intriguing, but it's overlapping the experience liquid. That's so weird. Huh? I wonder why that is. Can we give this chicken experience? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. That was uh, my bad chicken. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay. Let's see how some of these actually interact with other mobs and stuff. Like for example, creepers, like, like what are these other ones here? This one is literally a potato potato bucket. I don't even know what that means, but we're definitely equipping it. A magma bucket. I don't know how that's different from normal lava. An air bucket. Okay, hold on. What in the world is an air bucket? You chicken, you get to figure this out for me. What? He's flying upwards. <laughs> it's not even a liquid. It's just air. Does this one let us go upwards? No, but the chicken is in fact going, uh, oh, okay. Nope. 
He's not going anywhere anymore. Man, rest in peace, these chickens. They're not having a good time. We've got a village over here. What's up, buddies? Would you like to experience this magma bucket? I'm not sure what it does. Oh, wow, you just dodged yeah. that like perfectly. Oh, he's running away. <laughs> Whoa, the magma looks super cool though. It's like a faster lava almost. This dude's just chilling. Sorry, not for long. <laughs> oh no, the villager. <laughs> I feel bad now. All right, now you guys get the potato bucket. I have no idea what this actually does or if it has any special effect. It flows super slow and I guess it looks like potatoes. And he is, oh my gosh, he just got a potato from that, didn't he? Wait, so if I switch to survival, will this one give me potatoes or will it set me on fire? I'm scared. Give me a potato, give me a potato. Wait, wait, oh, it's friendly. <laughs> In other words, it's not lava. But I didn't get a potato. Why did that villager like get a potato? Don't look at me like that. I don't know how this works either. That's nope. what you get. Yep, sorry. All right, now let's start to test how some of these liquids actually interact with each other. We've got a bunch of random ones here. And of course it starts to rain. Nope, not gonna have any water, even though I like sent water straight up into the clouds. <laughs> Maybe that's why that happened, but we've got a redstone bucket, so let's just place that down. That's got a really cool texture, but it's just going to flow right into the bottom. And then how about an acid bucket right on the other side? Will this have any interesting interaction? No, dang it. Why isn't it doing anything cool? All right, what if we mix in like a bit of fast water? And fast water is really weird. Like, check this out right here. As the name implies, it is fast. <laughs> It literally goes rushing across the map. It's crazy. So, all right, we'll put a fast water bucket right in the middle and it just bounces right over and flows into the rest. That's kind of weird. How about a diamond bucket over on this side? All right, that one's going to be pretty slow. Definitely slower than fast lava. Oh my God. Fast lava just goes way over. Okay, and now they're starting to interact a little bit, but they have like such weird interactions. The diamond block is actually like overtaking a bunch of the other ones and causing it to overflow. What is going on here? Also, the fast lava isn't really interacting with the normal lava. That's so weird. How about we throw in some placeable milk? Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, what? Whoa, what was that? How did the placeable milk just like overtake everything else? Let's put an obsidian bucket up here. Um, We've got a rainbow bucket that just changes colors. That's pretty cool. And yeah, they are just continuing to fight down here. That's crazy. Oh, a chicken just got eliminated over there. Oh no, another one. Man, these chickens are not having a good time. I am curious though, like what happens if we put a normal water bucket inside of this area? Is that going to give us an interesting result? No, it just combines with the normal water. And now I'm starting to lag quite a bit from all of these liquids. Look at that. Okay, quick. Let's get rid of all of these liquids before my PC decides to light on fire. There we go. Now it's clearing up. Oh, it looks so crazy though. It's just a ton of random colored liquids slowly disappearing into each other. All right. And now finally it's running better. But guys, we still got to experiment with this thing over here. Using wooden blocks around lava was definitely not the best idea. So let's instead add some stone here. For the first test, again, we're going to use potato water, lava, regular lava, regular water, and then whatever this stuff is. It looks cool, so I put it there. That's all you really need, right? So let's finish the redstone circuit just like that. And now is the moment of truth. All of these liquids are going to interact into one. And here we go. Three, two, one pull the lever. All of the liquids are going. Oh my gosh, the water went way faster than the other ones. And this purple liquid was like second. But hold on a second. The potato water is taking over everything else. Yeah, look at that. It's overtaking the other liquids all the way over to the lava and into the water. Bro, what? What happens if we break this block right here and it interacts with the lava? Oh my gosh, it just makes another obsidian block. So it essentially acts very similar to water. That's so cool. All right, next up, we've got gold over in this corner. We're going to use diamond water instead of lava. And then for potatoes, let's put a magma bucket because we've also got, wait, what is this over here? Um, I'm just going to put normal water in this section because I still want like a normal one to see how it interacts with the others. But okay, now that we've got this test, three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, the water still moves way too fast, but the magma is moving faster or not faster, second fast. And then the gold bucket is overtaking everything else, but the diamond block formed a, what even is, it formed cobble
cobblestone, and now it's starting to interact with the other ones. What even is happening right now, guys? <laughs> it's so funny. All of this stuff is like so unpredictable. So the magma bucket goes super fast, and so does this water, and then the gold is like third fast. That's so cool. And then for the final test of the video today, we are going to see which is faster. Fast lava. As you can see, we've got it in that bucket, and also fast water. And what happens when they actually interact? So here we go. I'm going to flip the switch, and it's going to raise both of the pistons up. Actually, I gotta flip it down first. That way it grabs onto the blocks. And again, here we go. Three, two, one. Raise it up, and there they go. Oh, wait. It's, uh... <laughs> It didn't go far enough for them to actually interact. I guess they have the same distance as normal water. Hold on, I can fix this. If we break out these blocks right here, just like that. Don't worry, easy fix, come on. Hey, hey, I'm a genius. There we go, now it'll work. <laughs> and here we go, fast water, fast lava. They interact right in the center, but they don't create cobblestone. Either way, that's super cool that they both have the same exact speed. So there you have it, guys. There was a bunch of experiments with custom liquids. Be sure to comment your ideas if you want me to test something else out. But if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications for more fun videos, as well as check out the previous ones on the screen right now. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.